All right, how's everybody doing? Um, we're gonna do a quick demonstration on how to do a, uh, how to use a diamond drag bit using Carbide Create um, using version 413. Um, I've got my stock set up. I have a three by three inch piece of, of just scrap aluminum that I'm gonna use for this demo. Um, the material type isn't really important. Um, we're working from the top and uh, the toolpath zero is in the lower left hand corner. Um, the retract height I have set to 0.2. Um, we don't really need it coming up too much because I don't have any clamps that are really going to be in the way that I have to try to avoid. And we're going to use this picture of Spider Man here, which comes in really big. So let's go ahead and scale that down. A little too small there. I meant to go 2.8. All right, that's a little better. We're just going to center it on our stock material. All right, now let's just save it. Now we'll go to our toolpath. We've already got it selected, and we're going to select contour. Let's take a look at the tool that I use it for the diamond drag. All right. So the most important thing is that I've just got it as a uh, a V mill selected. Um, the description is diamond drag. Uh, I've labeled it tool number one. The diameter isn't really important. I've set it to 0 0.005. Um, flute length is 0.5. Again, that's not really important. Angles per side is 45 and uh, number of flutes is one. And like I said, none of that stuff is, is super important. The important thing is that you have a V-mail selected so that it's it knows that it's um, just working with that point. Let's get out of that. And now it's going to try to set the speeds automatically. We're going to uncheck that. So if we go back, the max depth is set to uh, an eighth of an inch. And the way a, a diamond drag bit works is that it has it can compress slightly. Um, and that makes up for any differences in stock material. Um, you know, any, any bumps or anything that may be in there, um, and your stock, your stock not being perfectly level. Um, cause we're not actually cutting material. We're, we're using this bit to, um, the pressure of this bit to, to push the material out of the way basically and make a line. So again, we've got our max depth set to uh, an eighth of an inch. We'll come back in here. So depth per pass, we'll set that to our eighth of an inch. Step over, we'll set that to 0 0.005. Spindle speed doesn't matter because um, we're not going to be running the spindle. Feed rate, let's set that to 60. And plunge rate, uh, we'll just set that to 30. I'll put these, uh, all these numbers in the description too, so you guys can uh, go and check back on that later. So we'll click OK. Um, we're going to select Pocket. Let's go ahead and save this again. All 
All right, now we've got our uh, toolpath drawn. That that took a little while on my computer. It took a little while longer than uh, normal. I think it's because I'm running the uh, uh, video capture right now. Uh, usually it only takes a, a minute or so. So now we can go ahead and save our G code. Right, now we can go ahead and try it out. 